What's up you guys? So I'm coming at you today live from the She Shed on a recording to share with you the mid-season trailer for The Real Housewives of Atlanta and specifically the scene that shows Nene Leakes did in fact try to spit on Kenya Moore. Let's get into it. group has torn each other's heads off <sighs> and drink their blood. Somebody pushes me, Wendy, I'm gonna say some shit. Give these girls friendship and love. I love you like a sister, and I'm sorry. It's not really, it's not cute. I don't want us to have an issue, I really don't. There's no issue. Can you agree? I agree. She looks quiet, look at it, like a church crowd. I know what submissive is, but she ain't herself in the front of him. Life! <laughs> give up that dream. It's really hard. <laughs> Love! Do you really feel like you are ready to start a faithful journey with me? Once a cheater, always a cheater. Money! You knew that I wanted to start acting more. You gotta let that go. It ain't that important. I got some new things to do. You're aggravating me and you expect me you to say- aggravate the out of me. I'll say sorry when I feel like it. Hey, say! I don't wanna plan no work. I'm gonna have a wedding. Let me know when you talk about prenup. Friends! Yeah. When you get mad at your friends, you're the first one to try to tear them down. Really? <laughs> the fact is, you are a real. Oh, oh my god! This is the cookie lady. Desserts on me. You're even gonna do nothing with me now. I ain't gonna never be what you want. Please go to jail again. You is a dumb oh ass bitch. You are a dumb ass bitch. You got too much money. You got too much money. Everybody stop! You guys, I have watched this trailer over and over again and I actually don't know what's worse. I know Nene just tried to spit on Kenya, but I don't know if I'm more offended at Nene trying to spit on Kenya or Kenya trying to be submissive to that mark. I don't know which one offends me more. But we'll start out with Nene. It looks like she was either trying to or mimicking spitting on Kenya. Now this is after throwing stuff at her. So the disrespect has just reached an entirely new level. Like the disrespect, it's outrageous. And Nene Leek said in a video, in an after show video that she posted on YouTube, she said recently that Kenya was the one who violated Bravo policies by sticking her finger in Nene's face. Now, I can't believe the nerve of Nene to talk about somebody sticking their finger in her face when she literally tried to spit on someone. Like, it is beyond me, the toxicity that's in this group of women. Like, it is beyond me. Whew, child, the toxicity. And now I, I normally rarely support someone losing their job, but I really feel like Nene is a cancer on this show and I, I feel like she needs to go. I feel like she needs to take a break because things have gone too far. Anytime you find yourself trying to spit on someone, you need to take a step back. You really do. So I think Nene needs to take a step back from this show and gather herself. Now, I also want to talk about in this trailer, we see a scene with Nene and her husband, Greg, and Kenya and her husband. And I'm going to say quotation, husbands in quotations, because he's not a real husband to me, but her husband, Mark. And you see Kenya being submissive. It's really weird to see. But Mark is saying that there's no problem between Nene and Kenya and that everything is OK. And Kenya is agreeing, like she's trying to be submissive to Mark. And she's like, yeah, that's right. I don't want us to have an issue. I really don't. There's no issue. Can you agree? <laughs> That's not right. That is not right. That is so wrong. Whenever there's a problem, these women have almost come to blows. We saw last week these women almost came to blows. So to sit there now that your husbands are there, you become children and you agree with whatever your husbands say and to sit there and say, yeah, there's no problem. Everything is okay between us. There is something so wrong about that. It's so toxic. Like seeing Kenya's relationship on television 
it's so it's like watching toxicity to me it's it's just unbelievable and i feel like kenya is trying to be a good wife i feel like kenya needs validation because of her upbringing and her mom rejecting her as a child i feel like she searches for validation and mark i think is one of those type of men that verbalizes validation like he probably tells her when she's doing good today she was a good wife today she made a good breakfast like he probably gives her brownie points. Like he seems like one of those men that verbalizes validation. And so she's drawn to him. But at the same time, you have to know as a woman, you have to know that you cannot get validation from the outside world. It does not work. And that's what I was talking about in my video recently about Portia, how I feel like she's marrying Dennis just to avoid being called a baby mama because of the stigma that goes along with that term baby mama and the value that a lot of times women, the value that we get from men, the perceived value that we get from men, I feel like it's the same situation with Kenya. Phaedra read her down when she told her that she was nothing for going to a sperm bank and finding a donor that needed $9.99 to buy a pizza so he ejaculated in a cup for her so she can have a baby. Phaedra read her down. And you cannot tell me that she didn't internalize that because the next thing you know, she's having a baby with a man that I don't believe it loves her. I don't see love in the relationship between Kenya and Mark. I just don't see it. I'm just being honest. This is my channel. This is my she shed, right? This is my she shed. I can be honest in my she shed. And I just don't see love between Kenya and Mark. I don't see it. I feel like Kenya is looking for validation. And for her, I feel like one of her deepest dreams was to become a mother. So her becoming a mother requires a father, a husband, it has to be a husband because she needs that validation of a husband. And I feel like Kenya would have been better off if she wanted to be a mother, I feel like she would have been better off being a single mother and empowering herself instead of looking for validation outside of herself. Because look what she has now. Look what she has. She doesn't have a man that loves her. But I feel like Kenya is trying to be a traditional wife and she's trying to submit to her husband. There are different interpretations of submission. My own interpretation, I don't believe it's being obedient. I'm not into that. I believe it's like, I believe the submission is like submitting yourself, like giving yourself, like giving yourself to that person. And I feel like if you're an empowered woman, that's what you should give your husband. Give your husband an empowered wife. Don't shrink and be less than so that he can shine. And if you're with the man where you got to sit back in order for him to shine, that's a problem. It's a problem. So you guys leave a comment and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Nene cocking back and looking as if she's trying to spit on Kenya. And let me know what you think about Kenya attempting to be submissive to Mr. Mark Daly. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. And let me just come back real quick because Nene has responded to the criticism now that the trailer has been released of her attempting to spit on Kenya. She responded on Twitter and she said she needs to be spit on with all of the horrible things she has said and done. From constantly starting ish with me all season, lying on me, saying I'm on drugs and bipolar, plus that recent tweet she posted. So enjoy the moment. I did the act but didn't spit. Wish I had though, no regrets. Girl, if you don't get off this show, it's disgusting. Eight of it all. <laughs> you so nasty. Great, 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 great. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 I don't want to be up this high. This is the bush. <laughs> What's the great term for hair? Shake uh, Everyone in this group has torn each other's heads off <sighs> and drank their blood. Somebody pushes me, Wendy, I'm going to say this. Give these girls friendship and love. I love you like a sister, and I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. you really you. I don't want us to have an issue. I really don't. There's no issue. Can you agree? I agree. It's quiet, look at it, like a church crowd. I know what submissive is, but she ain't herself in the front of him. Life! <laughs> Give up that dream. It's really hard. <laughs> Love! Do you really feel like you are ready to start a faithful journey with me? Once a cheater, always a cheater. Money! You knew that I wanted to start acting more. You gotta let that go. It ain't that important. I got some new things to do. You're aggravating me and you expect me you to say. You aggravate the out of me. I'll say sorry when I feel like it. I don't want to plan no wedding. I'm going to have a wedding. Let me know when you talk about prenup. Friends! Oh.
when you get mad at your friends, you're the first one to try to tear them down. Really? The fact is, you are a real. Hi. Oh my God! This is the cookie lady. Desserts on me. You ain't gonna do nothing with me now. I ain't gonna never be what you want. Please go to jail again. You is a dumb ass bitch. You are a dumb ass. You got too much money.